The unfiltered setting from all text chat channels have been removed. Players will have a choice on their chat settings between friendly and mature. Players who had previously set text profanity filters to unfiltered will not have applicable filters set to mature. So I'm not going to constantly see slurs. Oh my freaking gosh! Armor health damage reduction is now additive with other resource or other sources of damage reduction and has a maximum cap of 50%. Okay, so a lot of people don't know the difference between additive and multiplicative, so I'm just gonna give it to you for a second. Say it, it used to be multiplicative with no cap, right? So you used to have a 30% damage reduction on armor and then a 50% damage reduction with a versus 45. Fortify, sorry. That would go all the way up to, I think, 65% if I remember correctly, or maybe it was ended up being 75. I'm not exactly sure. But now instead, it's just going to add and it'll only stop at 50%. So you can't the versus fortify plus her armor that she already has. It's not going to be an insane amount anymore. It's just going to stop at the 50% that the like fortify would usually give her. I have not seen these yet, and I'm very scared for all of the patch notes. There's a couple things that I'm hoping for. There's a couple things that I'm not hoping for. Eva. Put on reduce from 4 to 3.5. Okay, we're starting off strong. Hella is now damage immune for 0.4 seconds while ejecting. That makes sense. If they were going to up her booster time, they should reduce her DM time to 2.5 seconds. Uh, because DM is unfun. Doomfist. Put on reduce from 7 to 6 seconds. Fine, I guess. Now reduces damage from stuck projectiles. This makes sense. And this makes sense. Doom wasn't that good before. I feel like his biggest buff could just be them fixing his actual bugs. Doomfist is performing well overall, but tends to have more deaths on average compared to other tank heroes. That's just because of the players. Anyways, even though normally you have to face the direction of the incoming damage to block it. So even if you get stuck for the back, if you get stickied from the back, you know, like Doomfist usually does. Let's all be honest with ourselves. Block never reduces damage from stuck projectiles. So that's just like a normal thing. Guys, ignore my comment. Guys, it does not matter. Annihilation ultimate cost increased by 12%. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Sigma. <clears throat> See another spelling mistake. Base movement ground deceleration increased to match standard heroes movement. I think what that means is that Sigma was made to be floatier than other tanks and have more momentum whenever he got punched. So say he got punched by a Doom. It's going to be online with the other tanks but before he was floatier to just like mass match his like aesthetic i think sigma has always had somewhat floatier movement controls than most heroes in order to match his character movement animations i'm so fucking smart cool winston tesla fire charge time reduced from 1.2 to one second secondary fire recovery time increased from 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 seconds so the right click will charge faster but the recovery time in between each one is going to be a little bit longer that makes sense. Nothing, nothing too big. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yo, yo, calm down. Calm down. Maximum explosion damage fall off reduced from 70% to 50%. Detonation time reduced from 0.5 to 0.35 seconds. Recoil adjusted to recover more quickly. Projectile size increased from 0.2 to 0.25. Impact damage increased from 15 to 30. Reload time reduced from 1.5 to 1.2 seconds. Transforming into configuration assault now repairs 50 armor hell. Oh fuck yourself. Targeting state movement speed increased from 20 to 25 meters per second. Nice spelling mistake. Um, wow. It might not be a big deal, and it just looks like a lot of big, massive bastion buffs make him broken. But I don't think he's gonna be completely broken. I think the nade is gonna be a lot easier to use, but it wasn't good before. The main thing it was good for before was your own movement. The 50 armor is scary, and this just makes his ult less slow. I think Bastion's gonna be better. I don't think he's gonna be busted. Interesting. Cassidy. Oh, did I just see that right? Oh, what in the fucking 10? Base health increase from 200 to 225. The cowboy slinging his back. Peacekeeper damage fall off range rescaled from 25 to 45 meters to 25 to 35. Projectile now has a maximum travel time of 1.5 seconds. Slow amount reduced from 30 to 25%. So he's not going to be super tanky and can do stuff from across the map. I'm okay with that. It could be worse. They could have done this and then left it at that. <laughs> like they've done before. So arrow draw progress is no longer preserved while wall climbing. Good. Honestly... That I'm fine with that. I just don't like this character. So he can't charge a 240 damage headshot arrow 
climb up a wall about 15 meters, pop up, and then one-tap somebody unsuspectingly with no audio anymore. That seems fair, right? There should be no bitching happening in chat. No one was complaining about it, though? It's fucking annoying, man. That's not how you play Hanzo anyway, so it's just gonna stop people from playing him like that. So you don't play him in an annoying way, and you don't face the annoyingness. It's a positive, positive outcome here. Explosion damage reduced from 90 to 80, ultimate cost increased by 10%. Soldier was really fucking good last season, and I think this is good for him. I don't know about the ultimate cost, but his overall damage also went up, so. Ultimate cost increased by 15%. Mmm, what a fucking W right there. No longer destroys Life Weaver's Tree of Life. I don't know if that makes sense, but sure, I guess. Small nerf for Sombra, really, really big buff for Life Weaver. Actually, I'm gonna say very, very large buff for Life Weaver and pretty big nerf for Sombra because I saw the Life Weaver changes. They're scary. They're gonna revert this, but it's good for now. I like the ultimate cost increase. That's good. Weapon swap time reduced from 0.5 to 0.4 seconds. Primary fire recovery time reduced from 0.55 to 0.48. Ooh, that is much faster. <laughs> Swing recovery time reduced from 0.75 to 0.6. They don't sound like a lot, but that's kind of scary because think about it. If you think you think about a Torpus Hammer, it doesn't do much, right? But also, this is a... 0.15 second buff to in between each time he can give his turret 50 hp in addition we are also improving the forge hammer swing speed so that it is more effective to repair a turret while it's under fire it felt as if it was already effective but that's fine damage and healing per projectile reduced from 75 to 70 good unscaled projectile size increased from 0 to 0 0.1 i like this that fucks up some breakpoints for ana especially now that cassidy has 225 hp and you can't two-shot a tracer anymore or something like that. But, still good. We're also increasing the size of unskilled projectiles when firing at enemies. Her projectiles have always had a larger size for allies, very true. Which should help them land more consistently against close-range threats. So I don't have to quickscope on the Genji that is eating my asshole actively. We'll take those. Ah, break. Barrier health reduced from 300 to 250. Ultimate cost increased by 6%. I think that's fair. Rig has been pretty strong. I'm liking the support changes so far. We'll take those. Good to go. Ah, uh, ooh, kunai changes. Okay. Knockback removed. Good. Healing that reduced from 50 to 40. Good. Now heals for an additional 30 health when cleansing a negative effect. Nice spelling mistake. Good. Damage increased from 40 to 45. Recovery time reduced from 0 0.55 to 0 0.5. Critical damage multiplier reduced from 3 to 2.5. So it'll be doing 112.5 damage to the head. So you can still two tap squishies and Cassidy. No, this is just overall buffs. This is just a big Kiriko buff with the kunais, and people probably aren't going to see that. You can miss a headshot, hit a body shot, and still do more damage. You can fire them faster, and you can still two-tap squishies and Cassidy now, still, and Sim, and Weaver. Yeah, Weaver. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Base health reduced from 200 to 175. Base shield health increased from 0 to 50. Reduced spread for one of the two Thorn Volley projectiles fired per shot by 25%. Okay, so one of them is going to be the same spread as it was before, and then one of them is going to be less. Healing increased from 25 to 50 on the dash. Mobility lockout duration increased from 0 0.45 to 0 0.75 seconds on the grip. 50% of Tree of Life's overhealing is now converted into overhealth up to 100 maximum overhealth. Very interesting changes. Weaver is definitely gonna be playable now. Crossfade's self-healing penalty is now reduced from 60 to zero for the duration of Amp It Up in order to help bring Lucio's survivability more in line with the rest of the support heroes. Well, like Zen, good one. I don't really feel like he had an issue with surviving. I feel like that's a skill issue, if anything, because Lucio's survivability is fan-fucking-tastic, but sure, we'll give him more. Why not? I don't hate Lucio. Second. Dairy fire damage boost reduced from 30 to 25 percent. Now don't attack me. Good. Damage boost is annoying. Res is worse, but damage boost is still aggravating. And I feel like they could have supplemented a bit of a like a compensation in her movement to not punish mercy players for having a longer cooldown for doing movement attacks. Five percent is nothing. Uh, well, it's a overall like 17% nerf. You can't look at it as like, like 5% out of the 100% because the 100% does not exist. We want to make sure it stays powerful enough to feel like an effective and interesting gameplay choice as making the decision between healing or damage boosting is, is core to Mercy's gameplay. Movement should be core to Mercy's gameplay. 
Movement is the fun thing about it. Movement is fun in every single video game. And her movement is cool. Focus her around her goddamn movement. And not if I should heal or make my DPS do more damage. Because that is not nearly as fun to anybody, I don't think. Oh! There's no fucking Zen changes. Oh my god, I thought there would be one more. What the fuck? Okay, dude. I mean, I guess so. That's upsetting. Oh, I'm not gonna blab my mouth about it, but that's... Mm. Okay, did I skip Arissa before? What the fuck? Okay, well, both of these are bad because Arissa was already fine before, but sure. They added it later. So did I scroll directly from Doomfist to a Ramatra, close it, reopen it, and now Arissa's here? Forredfy. Forredfy. Guys, my favorite Arissa ability. <laughs> We're calling it that for now on. That's gonna, like, that whole thing, like, that whole, like, conjunction right there is gonna be a YouTube video. But I'm not gonna, like, add, like, an actual outro code like I usually do. So can we get an AI-generated, um... YouTube outro in the in the, the chat. Blake, can you do it for me? An AI generated YouTube outro and I'll read it. Like it's my actual outro. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Ezra out with a peace sign. So I'll put a peace sign on the fucking screen.